Hey family Jews, this is Angel V6 and um, this video is not like Angel V5, it's different because it happened yesterday and this is a different time and um, let's get started, okay. So I was chilling in my room, again, like I mentioned, age of five, and he said, um, meet me on the beach. And so, I met Jesus on the beach, and then we flew up to the clouds, and there we met Asa, and Asa, I took my hand, he said, come, and so again, we went through a big cloud, and as I looked around, there was like millions of thousands of angels, and we were in the middle of them, and so, you know, I was like, wow, and, um... And Asa was preparing me again for um, for battle. And again, I still don't know what battle it is or whatever he's preparing me for till, until this day. And so he was teaching me more techniques. And so um, one technique he was teaching me was that I can um, duplicate myself. And so... Um, I duplicated myself. Like I was standing in the cloud with Asa, and then another form of me came out, and then another form, and then another form. I could duplicate myself as many times that I want. And I was like, oh, sick. And he's like, um, very good job. And I said, I told Asa, okay, now that I know I could duplicate myself, okay, I could battle those three angels again and definitely definitely win and so here's the thing when i duplicate myself my skin turns gold i'm black now but my skin turns gold pure gold okay i duplicate myself and i'm so powerful in heaven you want to know why i'm so powerful it's because not everyone in heaven is that powerful. I am more powerful in heaven than the strongest angels God has. Because um, I spend so much time with God and Jesus. Yes, God and Jesus. Um, you know what? Because God cr makes a form so that he can, walk in, so he can walk around heaven with. You know, a specific form. And so I do walk with God and Jesus. And they both appear to me. And so... I'm so strong in heaven because I hang out with God so much. I hug him. Um, I kiss his neck. <laughs> and my hair is black in heaven like my hair is now. But because I hang out with God so much, my hair turned white. And then because, again, I hang out with Jesus so much, and I'm so close to Jesus, my hair turns pure gold. And um, my skin also turns gold because when... Um, I never knew this, but every time God hugged me, as much as he did, I, my spirit got so strong, and I got supernaturally strengthened. That's why when I wanted to fast, God said I didn't need to fast. Because it's like fasting is like killing your flesh and to strengthen your spirit. And, you know, also when you speak in tongues, that's definitely a thing you should do when you're fasting. And, um... He said, I didn't need to fast. I'm like, I don't need to do that. And I used to fast like all the time because I never knew he was supernaturally strengthening me. And my spirit is so strong, and I feel that. Um, I feel my spirit like very strong. And in his kingdom, oh my gosh. Yeah, I could do things not even the cherubims could do, you know, with the foreheads. <laughs> In a deal, and I did see them. I'll talk about that in another angel view bit. But, um, man, it was just crazy. And so I realized how strong I was. I'm like, sick! And so, um, I could duplicate myself. And, um, so also I was like, that's very good. He said, now, five angels came, and he said, I want you to battle with them. And so I said, all right, let's get on. And so, one thing about my hair in his heaven is that when it turns white, um, I connect with God's hair. God's hair is white and long. Here's the thing. Nothing on God is dead. You know how our hair is dead? Nothing on God's dead. It's like God's hair is like an extra pair of hands to him. And so since I'm with him so much, he touches my hair, my hair turns white, and I can connect with his and so, when an angel 
when one of the five angels was fighting me, he chopped off my hair. I was like so pissed. I was like, what? And so, and so I, I connected my hair already on my head with Jesus, with God's hair. And he was there watching me at this time too. And so my hair grew back. And when, when, um, I put my hair on the angel who cut it off, he just shook and like that. And he fell to the ground. And so the other angel, he tried to get at me too. And again, he tried to pin me to the ground. And, um, um, I hit him with a, like a fireball, you know, like he was to the back. And then the other angel, I had my wings out. And my wings in heaven are gold. Um, and the only, the only people's, only God and Jesus have gold wings in heaven. And I do too. Those are the only people in heaven who have gold wings. And, um, I, so I asked him, why do I have gold wings? And he said, um, because he said, because you are very close to me, you are very special to me, and, um, yeah, just things that, you know, I don't want to really go into right now, but, um, yeah, and so anyway, so the child cut off my goat wings, I was like, heck no, because, you know, they had a knife, and I was like, I'm thinking, what should I do, what should I do, what should I do, and so I thought about it, and I thought about it, and I thought about it, and I'm like, if, if everything on God is alive and nothing in heaven dead, I surely have power in my wings to do something. So I thought about it and I got God's glory off my wings and I hit the angel with it and he fell back and he just went flying back on some other cloud somewhere and disappeared. And so the, uh, another angel, he was like, um, he stabbed me in the back. He took a knife and he's like, and I was like, ow, you know, it didn't really hurt me, but it, it looked, but I acted that way because, you know, I was also in my flesh, you know, here on earth. And I was like, wow, okay. And, um, um, I was like, wow. And then, her, and then um, I turned around and I got a sword, I thought of a sword, and I had a sword in my hand, and I cut that angel's neck, I was like, Shoo. and I was like, what's up, you know, and so, uh, um, Jesus walked over to me, and he touched my back, and he, he healed it, so I didn't have that cut mark on my back, because the stupid angel hit me there, and also I came back, he said, stop, and then said, all the angels disappeared, I'm like, yeah, did I do good, and I was like, you did very good, I'm like, yeah, and, um, I'm like, yes, you know, and then Jesus came and said, do you think you can beat the sun? I'm like, no. <laughs> Who can beat the sun? Duh. You know, and he said, you must fight the sun. I'm like, what? And I looked at Jesus, and he looked at me, and I'm like, I'm not, what? He said, daughter, I command you. And I said, okay. And so, you know, I was, we were in fighting position, in fighting mode, but I did nothing. I did not, no. He was like, throwing fireballs at me, and I put a shield Jesus was, you know, and, um, he wasn't doing it with all his might. He was just, you know, I don't know, like, just doing something. And so, and then, um, he came over to me, and he had his hand, like, around my waist. You know, he wasn't really fighting me, but he said, daughter, I want you to fight. And I was like, <laughs> no. <laughs> I was like, okay. And so, like, you know, I just kind of pushed him a little, like, backed him up, you know, because I wasn't fighting him, and then I, the whole point of the um, fight was that I would, somebody would stab someone, so, um, I had a chance, like, when his back was trying to stab him, but I'm like, I'm not stabbing Jesus, he cares, you, you're, you're stupid if you think I'm gonna do that, and then I'm like, uh, no, no heck way, and so I was like, I was like, his back was like, I was like, I dropped the knife, I'm like, and then I just got him, and I, I think I pinned him to the ground, and, um, I, I put, a, a something over his body so he couldn't move, and Oscar came back, he said, very good job, and then, um, Jesus stood up, and then he looked at me, and I looked at him, and obviously he let me win, because he's Jesus, duh, you know, and I was like, alright, and he smiled, and I hugged him, and, yeah, I kissed them. Yeah. Okay.
So that's, that's it. <laughs> Alright. Peace out, family, just.